Welcome to another day of Ether Raids. We are taking on Am um, here. I think I said that right. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and use the hit and run team here because uh, this is basically a shooting gallery. Um, although it is set up pretty well in the sense that um, that Duo Duma does remove like any pre charge specials with his um, scowl effect. Why do they decide to call it that? That's such a dumb name. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's so many other things that they could have called that effect, but uh, yeah, I guess that's what we have. Uh, we got Brown Amon, who's bonus. Uh, we got Hell here. We got um, ooh, Ninian, Fallen Ninian, who has the what does she have again? She has that uh, a thing. Um, Hell. Um, yeah, that thing. Pulse die. So. I couldn't have used any of like my God Sword teams because she has way more HP than pretty much all of the, all of my God Swords, and um, also they do pretty badly against. Well, this isn't Triangle Attack Ramamon, so I could probably have taken that out. But um, yeah, the pulse style would have been a little bit annoying to deal with in terms of getting up there and getting everything set up. So we decided to go with the hit and run team for this one because it's calves, so it's faster to move around the map. Probably considering, like, having a cav as a frontline unit, it's probably not a bad idea for something like this, because it's easier to tank. But of course you would need distant counter and stuff. Celeph would probably be uh, really good here. Um, legendary Celeph. Yeah, probably really good here. But outside from that, uh, we're going to go ahead and smack this with really? uh, the new unit on the block. We should be able to take out Duma, no problem. Uh, we do have to pay respect to um, Medeus's cancel control, so we don't want to get caught by that because uh, I. Well, it is possible for what's his face, uh, Bramamon, what's their face, to get over there and actually cause some damage. So we want to make sure that we're able to get away. Um, when we hit Duma. So we're going to set it up for the next turn and also um, make our way as close as possible to the pots on this left-hand side and try to get rid of some of the traps here. Leave it to me. Um, just for good measure. So let's set up like this. Good morning. And this should be good. Now there's also something that we should respect here, which is Hell's Refine. Hell actually had a really nice refine in which she get she got this cool warp effect, um, which uh, I've only played against it once, one other time, and then, well, yeah, really that one time. So I'm not a hundred percent familiar with how it works. Onward. Well, I know how it Indeed. works. She's able to warp within four spaces, blah blah blah, but. It's pretty deceptive in terms of what that four spaces actually looks like. And I don't... Well, she was able to jump uh, past my gatekeeper, yes. which was interesting. So I don't know how it works with we'll structures in front of her. So... Um, ooh. Hmm. Yeah, that looks like a problem. I'm not going to take out that hell. Hmm. Leave it to us. Maybe with a dance from Plumeria, probably. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see how that works out. Uh, we're just gonna set up outside oh, really? of the uh, threat range here of anything potentially happening. Uh, how getting dance potentially. Um, and we don't want to let them out yet, so let's leave them in there for another turn. And then from there, we'll figure out how we get the pots and uh, all the other good stuff. It's, this is kind of uh, similar to a save ball in which you just have armors, but this has a little bit more depth to it. Uh, I'm really not a fan of save balls. Well, I guess maybe you can make them work now with how strong, with all the new armor skills and stuff, maybe you could try to get one to work, but eh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, so yeah, let's try to See if we can get this hell off the map. Hmm. Maybe with a dance. We could get up there. Maybe this way. Hmm. 
So it would take two combats. If I do that, I'd get stuck because I'd have to I'm here for you. Um, dance again to attack and I'd be stuck because Bremmon is that space for me to... Well, no, I could actually reposition it so it, it could be potentially fine. Leave it to us. Uh, so let's... Let's do this, because I can reposition out. And then we're also going to have to reposition Peony, because I think... I think that spot might be threatened, I don't know. Again, Hell, Hell's victory. Refine is pretty nifty. I am death itself. We've sealed your fate! And the miracle. She heals. And now yes. I gotta get Kagero out. Um, yes. Ah, uh, jeez, this is actually bad. I should have stepped on that trap when I had the chance because that trap is real, and I'm a bit low on actions. Um, and I probably should have broken that healing tower as well because I think hell. Oh Leave yeah, there's the range. Hmm. Oh, that is unfortunate. This is worse than a fort. There's three units being threatened, and I can only move two. <laughs> so yeah, there's the, the war shenanigans from hell. But yeah, this is um, pretty bad. What's that, guard bearing four? Hmm. Um, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> My orders? Kagero is certainly not going to live a hit. Mm, yes. Oh, we've seen that so far. I'm kind of stuck here. And then the Dark Shrine. Hmm. Who's the fastest here? Well, not the Dark Shrine, the Bright Shrine. Hmm. 62, 53... That's that ruptured sky, so I'm pretty sure Nerthus dies. Leave it to me. The ruptured sky is just gonna hit too hard, so I think this is probably the safest play. Uh, hopefully, Brave Erica can just tank a hit. Um, I don't think she'll get outsped by Hell. So, yeah, let's see here. Whoa! Oh my God! Death comes Hell doubles. Fall. Oh my, and, and Erica's actually, like, very fast, so the I fact that Hell doubles... Yo, that's crazy! Okay! Well... Well then... <laughs> oh my god, I, I really didn't expect that. And this isn't, like, max merge or anything, this is plus five, bid merge, dragon flowers... Wow, I really didn't expect her to double Brave Erica there. I mean, GG's. Yeah, man, that was uh, quite a surprising match there. We're going to take on... Uh, I can't even say that. We're going to move to the next one here. But I'm I'm very, very surprised that uh, Hell was able to double Brave Erica there. That was shocking. Like, Erica is, as I said, not a slow unit. And she does get that DR, so I was actually just hoping that... I'd live one hit and then be able to take her out from there, but I got doubled by hell, which is crazy. And my Erica has like dragon flowers and stuff, so that is, um, and it didn't even look like it was close either. <laughs> it didn't even look like it's close in terms of speed. Oh my god. Yeah, good refine, I guess. Um, yes. Hell is a good unit now. Mm, looks that way. I still wouldn't put in our. Very well. I, I still don't know how I'd put her on defense, but good unit alert. That is uh, quite a lot of speed there. Uh, and well, the fact that she's blue is why she did so much damage to the green unit. Well, the fact that she's green is why she did so much damage to my blue units. But I don't know. I don't think she'd do uh, the same against. Uh, and also, she has adaptive damage. Oh, right. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Uh, she has adaptive damage in her weapon, so she's always going to be hitting res. Um, of is it adaptive damage or just always hits res? I I'm not sure, but yeah. Very, very unexpected there. Um, can't complain about that one. That one was, uh, yeah, Excuse a me. shock. <laughs> a big shock to me. 
so here we are in the, in the next match here, and um, the problem here is that I need to get Byleth into uh, range of all these ranged calves, or into the threat range of these units. Um, I was thinking I'd try to smite her over the mountain, but the chair is right there where I'd want to um, potentially smite her. Um, and I can't smite her from the other spot because my healing tower is right in the way. So, um, tough choices. <laughs> um, how do I do this? Uh, and I can't do the rally stuff and dance and all of that because, you know, units yes. would get sniped. So, I don't know. Maybe this would be better. Because what I could do here is just break this, uh, this structure and then walk up there because she'll have three movements. That, that feels like the better play. Mm. Show me. Okay, so we're gonna do this and then uh, wow. break and then dance ready. and then um, have you made ready? break and then we'll put the toe right behind her so that I got the no fall for next turn. And uh, yeah, should be good from here. Let's see what oh, happens. Yes. Uh, well, actually, it's not hard to figure out what's going to happen here. Balak is going to basically serious. blow everybody up. Uh, I think the hardest unit to kill here is probably going to be Dual Leaf because he is like very bulky. This guy is going to get a refine in a couple of years, <laughs> or maybe months, depending on how fast they go with the uh, the weapon refines. Yeah, they have been moving at a pretty high rate and not only that they've been skipping a bunch of units you so um there is that as well but um yeah um that guy's gonna be terrifying with his weapon refine um well as of right now you there are really no god me. swords that like do like anything crazy so i mean that's not like a huge concern but maybe that's where the metal will be around the time that he's gonna get his refine uh, which would make sense. I mean, that would probably be like uh, canon at that point, since he was the one that originally killed all the god swords. And now, when he gets his refine, it would be really cool if he could just do that again. But uh, yeah, we're basically done here. The next stop is to take out all the Eligards. Um, Trianja shouldn't be a problem. I shall go. Let's just break this because it's annoying. Am I needed? And uh, hots. Mm, pots are gonna be interesting because Upon your word. I don't really have anyone that like directly counter counters fallen Edelgard on this team, fun. but I do have enough firepower to take her out or at least tank her, so it should work out. I go. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I'm starting to get like really anxious about what the new banner with uh, that peony. Uh, rearmed or ascended or whatever that new peony is, I'm starting to get pretty anxious about what that banner is going to be because, um, well, at this point we all know that it's going to be some type of new skill or, or a slot or whatever it is, but I mean, it could really, really change the game, so um, yeah, sometimes it's not good to know things before they happen because it really makes you worry. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm getting like pretty anxious. Uh, I, I'm waiting for that Fate channel to drop so that we can get some news about what's going on. They have been like really, really quiet about this one. Um, have you made ready? Unnecessarily so, I would say. I mean, it's good. I mean, if it's something good, then we can like hype hype it up. But um, hmm, I kind of want to know what's going on. <laughs> What's going on here, I guess? <laughs> um, there haven't been anything like bad like introduced lately, I would say. Most of the things that they've put in the game the past year have been uh, relatively tame, aside from, I would say, the hard nerf to Elamine. Uh, she really got like completely nerfed uh, with Freyr. Like, you, like there's really no point to even bring her in ether raids these days um, because pretty much everyone that has freer is using freer because they want to use their catcher ball 
And uh, not that he's a bad unit or anything, but Show me. if you're able to use your catcher ball, you're going to use your catcher ball because it makes defense building so much Have easier um, on Anima Season. And uh, yeah, Elamine is just like dead in the water. So with the introduction, I, I can see like the um, full start like just oh, being yes. handed out now because there really is no point in it. Like if it's not... <laughs> If it's not working in Anima Season where it was like designed to handle a specific thing, yes. maybe they'll move it over to Dark Season and then... Like, I can see that happening. Them moving it to Dark Season and then um, putting something like what Freya does into Dark Season 2. So, yeah. Yeah. The game is going to get into a weird place soon. <laughs> I, I do see that happening. Things are going to get really weird really quickly. Um, and that's probably why there were no dragons on this Halloween banner, because it Good is morning. the year of the dragon coming up. Well, at least that's what I heard. I don't know. I don't know anything about Chinese, Japanese, years, life, whatever. Man. So, the but that's what I heard. Life. So it makes sense that oh, there weren't yes. any dragons on this Halloween banner. They're probably Die. saving it for the New Year's banner, because that always coincides with whatever year it is. Um, but we're out of here. Nerthu's taking out Fallen Eligard. And, um... Yeah, man. Um, I've been playing pretty sloppy so far. <laughs> Not the best start to the week, but hopefully we pick it up. GG's.